Hello everyone. In last video we talked about six different types of hackers. Today we are going to step through another six types of hackers. Let's get started with the first one. Script kiddies. It's a known fact that half knowledge is always dangerous. A script kiddie is an unskilled hacker who is only aware of basic hacking techniques and gains access to systems using already made tools. Script kiddies are unlikely to cause serious damage. They are the incompetent types of hackers in the hacking field who try to hack systems, networks or websites by using scripts. The intention behind the hacking is to get the attention of their friends. Script kiddies are actually teenagers who do not have full knowledge of hacking. One basic script kiddie attack is DOS or DDoS attack. This simply means that an IP address is flooded with too many excessive traffic that it collapses. For example, consider Black Friday shopping websites which create confusions and prevent someone else to use the service. Hacktivist These are the people who use hacking to send social, political and religious messages. This is usually done by hijacking websites and leaving the message on the hijacked website. They might deface the website of a particular company or government agency to protest against certain policies and bring it to the public's attention and raise awareness. Basically, they want publicity for a certain cause by hacking into the systems or websites. Typically, these types of hackers target government websites and pose themselves as activists so known as a hacktivist. Hacktivist can be an individual or a bunch of nameless hackers whose mission is to gain access to government websites. The data obtained from government websites is used for personal, political or social gain. Wikileaks is the famous example of hacktivism. The organization successfully acquired and released thousands of classified government documents. State-sponsored hackers Government appoints hackers to collect information about other countries. These types of hackers are known as state-sponsored hackers. They use their knowledge and skills to obtain classified information from other countries to be well prepared for any upcoming danger to their country. The sensitive information helps to be on top of every situation, but also to avoid upcoming threat to their country. They only report to their governments and get paid for their services. Whistleblower These types of hackers include people working in an organization who expose secret information. The intent behind the disclosure might be a personal issue with the organization or the individual might have found out illegal activities within the organization. The reason for expose defines the purpose behind the exposure. These people are known as whistleblowers. Cryptojackers. They are cryptocurrency hackers. They are known to exploit network vulnerabilities and steal computer resources as a way to mine cryptocurrencies. They spread malware in a variety of ways, often by planting infected viruses across the web. These viruses are used to run malicious code on the victim's system, which works quietly in the background without the victim's knowledge. Once the code is executed, it sends the information back to the hacker. Cryptojackers are hard to catch because the malicious code can go undetected for a long time. Since their motive is not to steal victims' data, but rather to use their system as a vehicle for cryptocurrency mining. Elite hackers. They are the most advanced hackers. They are the cream of the crop in the world of cyber criminals and are considered to be the highest skilled hackers in their field. They are the first ones who discover cutting edge attack methods and also they are known to be the experts and innovators in the hacking world. Alright this was all about today's video. I hope you got what I have tried to explain. See you in the next video. Please subscribe.